So first, uh, we will see about global temporary table. Temporary table. So what is this global temporary table? So global temporary table is a table which holds the data temporarily. OK, so it is a table which holds data temporarily. And uh, it can be accessed globally. Globally means uh, across all users, they can access this global temporary table. That means all users, if any user create global temporary table, that global temporary table can be useful for all other users. OK, so it can be accessed globally. So, so generally we have two cases in global temporary table. One is on commit delete rows. And another one is on commit preserve rows. That means when you commit records gets deleted in that global temporary table. And the second example is on commit uh, preserve rows means when you commit also this records gets saved in the temporary table. I will show you practically on this, but just I am saying that there are two ways we can create a global temporary table on commit delete rows or on commit on commit preserve rows. That means uh, why we call it as a temporary table is once if you disconnect the session, this global temporary table data gets cleaned up. Clear? So that I will show you practically. Now I am going to create global temporary table. Create global. So we will write a keyword C. Earlier we read create simple table. But here uh, create global temporary table. The syntax is like this. So simply uh, G underscore uh, table or uh, GL underscore table. Tab I am writing. So this is our global template. I'm just creating with two columns. One is serial number number. Where care of 20. So generally we create a table normal table till here only, but uh, in uh, global temporary table we will write uh, any of these. Two cases, so first I will show you with on commit. Delete rows on commit delete rows. On commit delete rows. So now see simply I will execute this. So you see OK. Where is the mistake? Oh, we have not read the column name here. So what is our column name? Name. So what is the syntax? Simply global temporary table, create global temporary table, table name, followed by the column names along with the on commit delete rows. Now my table created. So now simply I will select my table. Select star from. GL underscore tab. So now it will be empty. Why? Because just now I created. I will insert data into it. Insert into. GL underscore tab. So simply values. So I will manually insert one comma. Power. So see now. One row insert. OK, now simply I will check my table. So record is insert. Is it what I said in on delete 
pressure rows if you on commit delete rows what what i said the condition the records gets deleted after commit records get deleted after commit we will test that case okay i will also insert few more records uh, from other table so that we will see more records in the global table so simply insert into gl underscore tab so directory i can write select query select i am uh, inserting data from employee table employee number comma employee name from emp so all the records of employee table now going to get insert into our global template so 14 records inserted we'll just view our table see so along with the new record our 14 records also get insert so now i am committing see after commit what i said delete rows will uh, that means rows gets deleted in temporary table the to global template so now i committed now if i check our table select star from gl underscore tab what happens see records are not there so generally for what purpose we use this uh, sort of temporary tables see we have some intermediate uh, uh, calculations so for the for such such sort of calculations uh, they are like uh, what we say staging tables we no need to store data is it so if you store the data again uh, it is not the efficient way why because unwanted data storing in database increases our size so for that purpose we are going to use this kind of temporary table so temporary tables are used for intermediate uh, processing of data okay what we will do we will do some calculations keep into some temporary table and uh, use that table in some join query and again uh, at the end uh, we will insert the data into main table but intermediate global table is just uh, for storing for that process itself and once after committing for example for on delete rows uh, global table data gets cleaned up clear yeah. so for such kind of actions we use that is one of the example for global temporary table now we will see global temporary table for other case what is that on commit preserve rows okay now i am creating another table simply gl underscore tab 2 i am creating the same columns now our another global temporary table created with case called on commit preserve rows now i am inserting the same data into the second table and just we will see after committing what happened so now if you check our table select star from gl underscore tab 2 so we have our 15 records now what i am going to do after committing what happens you see so there will not be any change in our temporary table so our rows still get preserved even after commit also now i will just disconnect the session for example i am just disconnecting the session simply disconnect so my connection now got disconnected now again i am connecting okay now see now if i run my table see data gets wiped out that means i said no temporary table data what is the lifetime of the temporary table data till the session gets disconnected only our data will be there 